Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Pastor Leroy Carter here with you with the word of the day. Praise God each day, Monday through Friday, for just a few minutes, three, four minutes, two, three. Praise God with the word from the Lord. Today we're looking at Micah, the Old Testament prophet Micah. In the first chapter, just a few verses, and our subject is going to be God's demands are clear. God's demands are clear. Micah was called to be a prophet during a time of great controversy in Israel. The rich were cheating the poor, people robbing one another, people sinning against God, uh, no love in the nation, not only in Judah, but also in the northern kingdom of Israel. And God says, I have a controversy with my people. I have a controversy. I've got a case against my people. We'll look at that probably on tomorrow. But God has a controversy. And in setting uh, the backdrop of Micah, we look at God making clear his demands upon us. And he makes it clear. Romans chapter 2 says, Thou art inexcusable, O man. So no excuse is going to hold up before God. Look at what Micah writes in the um, first chapter. Hear all you people, hearken, O earth, and all that therein is, and let the Lord God be witness against you, the Lord, from his holy temple. For behold, the Lord cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. As the mountains shall be molten under him, the valleys shall be cleft as wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured down a steep place. For the transgression of Jacob is all this, and for the sins of the house of Israel. What is the transgression of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? And what are the high places of Judah? Are they not Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria as a heap of the field and as plantings of a vineyard. And I will pour down the stones thereof into the valley and I will discover the foundation thereof. And all the graven images thereof shall be beaten to pieces and all the hires thereof shall be burned with the fire and all the idols thereof will I lay desolate. For she hath, she gathered it of the hire of the, an harlot, and they shall return to the hire of an harlot. God said he's tired, he's tired, he's tired of people worshiping idols, cheating, and, and, and turning their backs on him and doing everything they want to do. He said, I'm going to come down into the mountains and I'm going to do something. Ladies and gentlemen, this was 800 years before Jesus Christ. And you'll think we would have learned our lesson 800 years before Christ, 2,800 years ago, and we're still doing the same thing, worshiping idols, turning our backs against God, doing whatever we want to do. But God says, I will come down into the mountain. I will level the place. He might have to level America. He might have to level your nation. He might have to level the place of the spirit. If people don't turn and repent, where does repentance begin? It begins here with me in my heart. I must confess my sins and turn from all unrighteousness and wickedness. And so ought you. This is Pastor Leroy Carter with the word of the day that God's demands are clear. He makes his demands very clear. The Bible is not a controversy. The Bible is not unclear. It's very plain. Read it, do it, obey it. Father God, help us to obey your word. Forgive us of our sins. Cleanse us of all iniquity. Stretch forth your hand, God. Touch people today that they will be saved, that they will repent of their sins and receive Jesus Christ as Lord and walk in righteousness and obedience to you. Well, looking forward to seeing you on tomorrow. God bless you.